Hello people, welcome back. And in this today's session, we are going to understand the measure of variation, which is also called the measure of dispersion, which means how your data is dispersed or how much is the data, what is the variation your data has. So there are three important measure of variation, which will be learning. One is the range. Range is always whatever is the maximum value of your data minus minimum value of your data. The difference of that will be range. Then we're looking for the variance and then we'll be looking for the standard deviation. You sh should watch my previous videos when I explained about the variance and standard deviation in detail. Today, I will be just telling you the meaning as well as the formulas for how to calculate in the Excel. So suppose, let's say you have a specification values. Maybe this side is your lower specification value and this side is your upper specification value. You can take any example, either you are manufacturing the product, maybe it's a goalpost, maybe this is your uh, orifice, maybe this is your whatever you want to consider. And suppose there are some data points and data points within these specifications are scattered like this here and there. So what we see from the central tendency in the last session, we have learned about how to look for the mean, median or mode of the data. But when we talk about the dispersion, how far these data points are from each other. So if we look for the average value, suppose your central value of the data may fall somewhere here. So on an average, each of the data point, how far they are, that is called your deviation. From the average value, difference from the average is called your deviation. So this is the deviation in the data. I explained you in the standard deviation when I was telling you the in detail. Now, if we standardize this deviation, basically the average of deviation, how far is the average deviation from the central value or average value that is called your standard deviation. So if I generate some data point, Let's say random data I'm generating. Maybe this is your transaction time. How much time you are taking to complete a transaction? And randomly, suppose your transaction time is around 25 minutes to 40 minutes you are taking. Because every transaction is different, so it will take a different time. And you have the number of data which you have collected are these 20 data points you have collected. Now I want to calculate the dispersion of this data in the form of range, variance and standard deviation. So range you know is the max minus minimum. So if I select the data value, maximum value out of this data. So my maximum value of this data is coming how much? 40 out of this. I am just copying this range, what I have selected and then I put minus here and then calculate the minimum value of this data. So my range is 15 because max value is 40 and minimum value is 25. The difference between is 15. Variance, because in statistics, we always calculate for the sample data. So we'll be using the formula var dot s, not the p, var dot s, and we select this range and we'll get the variance of the data is 25.10. Similar way, we'll be calculating the standard deviation of the data, stdev.s, and we'll be calculating in this way. So my standard deviation of the data is 5.01. So these are the Excel formula we'll be using to calculate the range, variance, or standard deviation. And using the formula standard deviation, stdev.s, selecting this, this is the only formula or this is the way we'll be calculating the standard deviation and we'll be using in all of our calculations. So we are always using stdev.s for calculating all statistics when we learn Six Sigma. We never use the formula of stdev.p. 
because in six sigma you are not going to measure the population you are just going to measure the sample and when the sample data you are selecting will be using the stdev.s so what is the dispersion dispersion is the variation and central tendency where is the center of the data so if you want to reduce the variation because six sigma is all about reducing the variation if the variation is low the process capability will be high i will explain the process capability in the upcoming session so what i am supposed to do i will be shifting all these value somewhere in the center and closer to each other and that is the only objective in six sigma that when we are implementing six sigma how well we can manage the variation of the data. If the variation of the data is low, then the capability of the process is high or the performance of the process will be high. So I will see you in the next session when I'll explain you about the skewness and the kurtosis. Thank you so much, people.